President Trump's troubles with questions about his campaign's ties to Russia intensified this week with the release of emails showing his son, Donald Trump Jr., arranging a meeting with a Russian government attorney last year in the hope of obtaining incriminating information on Hillary Clinton. Meanwhile, health care reform remains stalled in the Senate, its fate increasingly uncertain, and President Trump headed to France for Bastille Day. This Sunday on Face the Nation, We'll bring you the latest news and analysis on all that and more. We'll talk with Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, the top Democrat on the Intelligence Committee, about the latest developments in the scandal involving Russian involvement in the election, and possible collusion with Mr. Trump's campaign. What did he make of Donald Trump Jr.'s emails? And how is his committee proceeding with its investigation alongside the special counsel's probe? We'll also talk with Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, a conservative who's pushing Senate Republican leaders for a fuller repeal of Obamacare in their health care reform proposal. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he may have to work with Democrats to amend Obamacare if Republicans can't agree on a replacement. Would Senator Paul join that effort? We'll hear from Jay Sekulo a member of President Trump's legal team, on how the president and the administration are responding to Donald Trump Jr.'s explosive emails and the broader investigation. How might Trump Jr.'s problems affect the president? And what is the strategy for Trump's legal team going forward? As always, we'll hear from an expert political panel to help us break down the busy news week. This Sunday, we'll be joined by USA Today Washington Bureau Chief Susan Page the Atlantic editor-in-chief Jeffrey Goldberg, The Washington Post said O'Keefe, and National Review's Ramesh Aparu. And finally, for a bit of a respite from politics, we'll talk with Time magazine senior writer and science editor Jeffrey Kluger about his new book, Apollo 8, which chronicles the NASA mission in 1968 that heartened a weary nation and provided a glimpse of future possibilities in space. In space.